Hi, hi, Sri Ram. Hi, hi. Thank you so much. To quickly introduce you to our viewers, uh, I'm and to introduce myself also. Uh, my, my name is Dharmendra Rai. I am Mumbai's first mind map trainer. Uh, also trained on another subject called invisible selling. And I have with me today uh, my very good friend um, Sriram S who in addition to having a huge responsibility of being the HR head of our season is also a coach and now a best selling author. I think this is a, probably a better way to hold it. <laughs> Uh, on Amazon, uh, he's just written uh, this very exciting book called Happiness Habits. And I'm going to interview him about this book. So, uh, tighten your seatbelts for an exciting ride. Thank you so much for the nice introduction. So, so Shri, why don't you just say something about the book, an introduction or anything exciting you want to say to get started. I think I've directed this book at an audience, which is kind of similar to me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I've largely worked in the corporate uh, world for the last 23 years or so. And, uh, you know, this is targeted at an audience, which is uh, in the corporate world and looking for something, looking for meaning, looking for happiness, and perhaps not, you know, finding it in their uh, daily course of, you know, things that they do. And uh, the idea was to, you know, kind of, there's a lot of philosophy uh, around happiness, but how do we, you know, kind of make it relevant in the current, uh, you know, environment and current uh, situation that we are in, so that people are able to actually do something towards you know, reaching happiness as a destination. Okay. Uh, and, and that's, I think, the whole intent of this uh, book. And uh, it's quite, it's written quite simply uh, in a very relatable way with some, you know, kind of uh, anecdotes from my life uh, as well. But uh, largely uh, motivating people to take action towards, you know, uh, uh, a certain direction so that they're able to really get out of the current rut that they're in and move to a space which is much better for them. So in a nutshell, that's the whole uh, book and it's, uh, you know, it's got some quests which are inbuilt, about seven quests which are there, which, you know, have a step-by-step -step way of first for you to understand and then reflect and take action. And, and on top of that, I've also, you know, kind of tried to support people with a you know, kind of a membership site where we've gotten a lot of assessments and trackers and guided visualizations so that uh, people are able to actually sustain the action because this is, we need to take action. I okay. think if you're hoping that happiness will happen, uh, it might, but the chances of it are very less. And, uh, but if we take action, the chances improve dramatically. And at least it, it moves you from where you are to a better state. That is guaranteed. Whether you will be consistently happy. Now, that's a different question and perhaps a more difficult, okay. more difficult answer to kind of arrive at. But will you be better in a better state than where you are currently? Almost absolutely guaranteed. So that's, I think, the purpose of this book. Uh, and I hope people you know, not only read it, but, uh, but actually use it anything and it has a whole bunch of recommendations so even if people pick up a few and implement it i'm sure that there will be some change in their lives right that's a great introduction and my amazon rating mentioned that this offers you plenty of paths dependent on where your evolution is in your mind you can pick one path and work on it and then probably come back to the book again and see, okay, now what's the second path? Or what appeals to me as of this stage? So what would you say is your definition of happiness? 